Hey, what's up guys? This is Celso with Tower Paddleboards and today we're going to teach you some tips on balancing on your stand-up paddleboard. The size of the board is the first thing you want to think about. On the description of this video, we put a chart showing what board the average sup rider will need in relation to his or her weight. Your height will also be a factor because the taller you are, the higher your center of gravity. So you want your board to be longer and perhaps wider. You definitely want to start out in flat waters, which is going to be a lot easier. So a lake or a bay like this will be ideal. Early mornings will be good. The wind is usually very mild during those times. I particularly love battling at night when the wind conditions are also very good. First thing to know is where the center of your board is. So that's where you're gonna to wanna to stand. Most boards will come with a handle on it. And because that is where the board is meant to be carried from, that will be the center of the board in terms of weight. You can use that as your reference point. Feel the board and stability. Then hop on it and stay on your knees with a low center of gravity. Start paddling before you stand. If you get moving, it will be easier, like on a bicycle. As you're moving, place your paddle in front of you across the board like this and use both of your hands on a wide stance to help you up. Place your feet wide also. The wider they are, the more stable you will be. Have your knees slightly bent, upper body straight, and your gaze towards the horizon. When you're not moving, you can use the paddle as support. Just the surface of the blade on the water will help you with your stability. Moving around the board can be tricky, and that's why a lot of beginners have their feet numb or hurting after their first day of paddling. They keep their feet very stiff and clenched onto the board. Try to relax your feet and learn how to move it around using these tips. Unclench your toes, wiggle them and relax your stance. You can move with short steps like this. The problem with moving on a sup is that once you take one foot off the board, all of your weight is on the other side. So it will be easier if you take quick short steps or you can use little hops and move your feet to where you want them. Sometimes even in flat waters you have ripples coming your way. That can be caused by the wind or boats that are moving around. The best way to deal with these ripples is by going nose first. But if you don't have the time to turn your board around, trust your balance and practice this trick. This will help you build the confidence you need. Kick your feet from side to side, making ripples of your own. This knee movement is what you need to do in order to take on uneven waters. Once you've mastered the flat waters, you can try it out in the ocean. It's going to be a lot harder because you have to pass the break and the water is going to be a lot more uneven. But it is a lot of fun and you can soon be catching waves. So cheers and I'll see you out there. Peace. Peace.